right, guys, you probably noticed a reduction in production. Huge. <laughs> I mean, Wolfman has wolf been absent. Yeah, I, and, and you're going to notice in the next couple of uh, weeks or week or so, in, of a handful of episodes, that I might not be in it at all or very, very little. Uh, I've been in and out of the hospital. I had a major surgery. Uh, I'm on the mend, and it looks things are all looking good, so I should be back full strength, better than ever, hopefully in the next month or so. But until then, we have some, some of the great Wolf Tick Nation, some of our patrons filling in. So make sure you show them some love. And they were gracious enough to cover my spot and do what they could and have working with him. So, <laughs> All anyways. right, guys. Homeboy almost died on us. But yeah, he's good now. I'm good now, though. Yeah, I'm back from death. So after these few episodes, guys, we'll be getting the Wolfman back introduced. Um, but please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and enjoy the episode. Yeah. Dick Nation, we got a new mascot. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he's actually oh, eating so it. He's eating yeah, it. Yeah, he's eating it. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Get off my hand! Oh, my love! Tech Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. On today's episode, we have got the Merino Cabala. She is finished up. This is nothing but real steel, guys. Now, I've never ridden this bike. This bike's brand new, okay? We are fixing to take it down Hayes Creek Run. That's right, 2.3 mile black diamond downhill. I cannot wait. This is a downhill monster. And uh, we're going to do a little real-time review for you. Talk about the shifting, talk about the brakes. we got the Rock Shocks domain up front, DB8 hydraulic brakes, DD grip, 780 bar, 150 millimeter dropper, E13 front and rear, 2.6s. This thing is nasty and it is ready to go. And would you guys look at the amount of slack that we have up there? I couldn't tell you the amount of slack or the head degree angle, but it's ridiculous, all right? This thing is going to eat some trails up. I can't wait to do the real-time review with you. But one of the big things, everybody tells me that there's a massive difference when it comes to aluminum versus steel. We're fixing to try to talk about that, and I'm going to give my best opinion, my ideas, and how I feel with it. I'm going to try to relay that the best I can to you as far as steel goes. Never in the steel frame, we're going to see how it goes. So guys, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's go ride Hayes Creek. We'll see you when we get back, get to the bottom. All right, guys, here we go. Wolf Tick Nation, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We are fixing to see, we are fixing to see how steel feels compared to aluminum first time ever on a steel frame. Up here at Mount Nebo is a popular destination, great camping. Camping is up on the top of the mountain. Down here, we got Hayes Creek and we got Oxpool. You get down Hayes Creek, you can walk your butt right back up Oxpool. Here we come, LeBron. All right, guys, Wolf Dick Nation, here we go. Oh, I'm so excited about this build. It's a lot of man hours, a lot of tinkering, a lot of tuning into this thing. And uh, we're about to get it, baby, on the Merino. We got Kush Corn here, front tires at 21 PSI, tubeless. We got the rear at 25. Uh, fork is at 75 PSI currently. First hit, good. Nice and balanced. This bike, guys, right now when I'm landing, it's like I'm on a Cadillac or something. It's a hardtail. Not only is that front fork putting in work, but this frame, it's so weird, like it's quiet, right? The strange thing with this build was I thought it was gonna be so much more rough. We got 160 millimeter travel up front, but I thought it was gonna be so rough because it's steel, but everybody was like, dude, steel has got some give to it. You know, it's not like crazy rigid and real full of vibrations like an aluminum frame. So getting to feel this thing right now, live for the first time on a trail like this, it's, it's wonderful. It's so, uh, I mean, it's so solid is the way I can explain it. Tire's a little bit loose there. It's very solid and very planted. I feel very complete, one with the trail. And what's nice, there's not a lot of chatter going on right now with that GX group set. I mean, holy crap. 
it is a nice ride. You know, whenever you're riding aluminum, you feel a lot of the trail, right? Especially if you have thin grips. Like that's always what I want is to feel the trail. And that's one of my big um, downfalls or negatives when it comes to people with real thick grips is you can't feel the trail. These DD grips are thick and they're very forgiving but I'm kind of liking the feel of them right now because this bike is so planted. Now, does that have to do with the tapered head tube, the through axles, both front and rear, and this thing being super slacked out? Maybe, I mean, but it just feels very good. Now we're gonna be doing some speed up portions down here. We got a Savage Rock Garden coming up. Then we got some cool little uh, tabletop feature type deals. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. This bike's head tube angle, I'm not sure what it is, but um, it almost feels like I'm gonna be off whenever I land, like I'm gonna hit way too soon. And as stretched out as it is, it's so nice because there's no worry there. Like I keep going, oh, I'm about to hit wrong. Savage Rock Garden. It's like, oh, I'm about to hit wrong. And it just soaks it up, man. Look at this. Nice. Now we got a little feature here. Plenty of air. Brakes are working good. Nice. Wow. Ooh, a little flexy into the turns. That's a different feel. Aluminum's really stiff going into stuff like that. And this guy here, he's slowing down up here, Kevin. This guy here, it almost has like some smoothness going into the turns. Big Brother Kevin Nature were talking about earlier when we were talking about riding this thing, going to the corners, it almost kind of snap you back a little bit. First experience was right there. It soaked into the turn and then it kind of popped myself right back. What I'm really digging is again, we got the Kush corn here. You guys can see the sticker, it's official. What's crazy is there's no roll at all and I'm running the lowest PSI I've ever ran in tires, 25 and 21. And they don't feel like they're just super sloppy and rubbery to me. They're sticking really good, except for up top was a little loose. Man, the bike's feeling great. And just check out the ground clearance of this thing. Steel is real, man. Wow. All right, guys, we got a lot more trail to go. Let's keep on getting it. Okay. Now we got some more speedy areas up here. That dropper being 150 millimeters a drop really gets out of my way. And then it's really nice and high when it comes to... Uh, See, stuff like that, I can just lean back and it gets completely out of my way. Stuff like that, exactly. Perfect example. All right, got my little... We got the drop coming up. Here's a good little drop area here. Let's see how this bike soaks it up. Now I can lean back. Oh, yeah. Very nice. So balanced, so solid. That's the... Uh, there's this feeling... Let's see if I can explain this to you guys while I'm riding. There's this feeling when you're driving a truck. Okay, say it's a brand new truck. And you, you, woo a little stems in the way. Let me hit this little fast portion so I can focus. There's a feeling when you're driving a brand new truck and it has this stiffness but sporty feel to it, right? Where it feels solid, but you can still feel everything. You know, you go off the curb, you hit a little bump in the road, a little pothole, you feel it and you go, wow, like I feel every little bit of this truck. That feel that you feel is not this bike whatsoever. This bike feels like a damn Cadillac. You think you're going to feel that stuff. You think you're going to feel the Savage Rock Garden. But guys, this thing is, I think it's, I don't know how, how much this thing weighs. I'm guessing it's probably, I'm guessing 33 pounds. But it is 33 pounds of smooth, baby. Nuts. Everything good up there? Cool. Your forearms burning? Hands. Big brother Kevin H, man. Hands are burning. He ain't used to this trail. No. This thing is just, we're smoking down here. We've gone 0.87 miles, guys. Such a smooth ride on the Merino. The steel is real. All right, let's go over this little rock garden here. Dude, with these, wow. I mean, with these grips, the difference too is like aluminum. We'll be chattery down something like that, right? We'd be chattering down there. My forearms, like Big Brother Kevin H. Well, that's a bad example. He's riding a carbon. Well, hell, even what carbon maybe. I don't know. 
it's like it chatters from the ground up, right? So then you need those big thick grips. But with this thing, it deadens it so much, the frame I mean, it mutes all smalls and some of the bigs. I couldn't be happier with this frame. We're gonna get some air here on this little feature. Cool. I still gotta get, <laughs> I still gotta get the balance of this bike down, guys. I mean, first time on it, uh, jumping and all that stuff. We'll get it down, but it's like, man, I had wished that we would have had this bike ready at the beginning of summer because it is just a beautiful ride. Truly is. It's so stiff in the landing and I can almost feel like some give or something. I don't know what it is. It has this, um, I don't know, it's not soft, don't get me wrong. It's got a, it's got a, just a, such a good, Feel to it overall like I can just plant this thing wherever I want to put it <sighs> oh I should have took the drop in the air I have to get used to the weight for sure and where the heavy spots are pretty well balanced for the most part but so maneuverable very nice very nice ride and you guys can hear how quiet it is. This is this is a rough trail. I lost Big Brother Kevin H. <sighs> you good? Look, I'm I'm leaving. He's a damn good rider. I've left him about a hundred yards back. I ain't been doing it on purpose. You gotta keep up, son. <laughs> oh my gosh. And she keeps speed so damn well. I mean, she's just smoking through these trails, guys. Wow, such a good combo, such a good build. The steel is real, and still in rust we trust, I believe their little motto is from Reno. My, my, my turn that they worked on, hell yeah, baby. Monument Trails is where it's at, guys. Oh yeah, Hayes Creek Run, baby. I'm starting to experience a little bit of brake fade on the rear here. A little bit of brake fade. I'm using that. I'm using these brakes up, but these big old 203 rotors. Some we're gonna do. Oh, I think is that warp on the rotor. Some we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna put some affiliate links in the description below. Um, if you guys are just wanting to check out some of these parts that we've used, um, it's been a hell of a build. And I'm just glad this trail's not over. It's always a good thing whenever you're thinking like that. Oh, I don't want this trail to end. Here we go. Project yeah, Marino. To smile. Project Marino, the end of Hayes Creek. <laughs> Here we go. You get your grin. All right. Oh my gosh. Let me stand yeah, over here. Yeah. Kevin's coming in. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> Kevin's coming. Guys. What an awesome build. What an awesome ride. Man, this, uh, this, this brings mountain biking for me a whole new like outlook, you know? These builds that we do on the channel are great. All the upgrades, um, all the budget bikes showing that everybody can get into it. Um, and then you have just a diamond like this. And it's like, you're like, oh my gosh, thank God that patron sent us that frame and everybody else sent these parts in. This thing, is amazing and it just just makes me appreciate the channel patreon all that so much more and actually getting to have this for a job and getting to come out here and ride stuff like this after we built it um now regarding the steel versus the aluminum so much more it feels like i'm just so much more grounded and and i'm one with the trail it feels like these big old rubber grips we had talked about it you're not getting a bunch of reverb and vibrations and chatter on the smalls or the medium stuff on the trails and I was thinking in the beginning that it had to do with the thicker grips because that's all I'm used to riding. But after about halfway through, you know, this is a 2.3 mile, mile downhill. After a little bit of ways through, 
that vibration I noticed, there was no vibration in the bars. There was no vibration in my feet. This thing was freaking solid and it almost felt like a full suspension. And it's a damn hardtail. It's just crazy. Now I'm sure that has to do with the steel. Number one, it has to do with the steel versus aluminum, right? Uh, number two, it has to go with the being able to run that Kush core, me giving a product some confidence and running my air pressure so low. 21 and 25, that has something to do with it. It's got to. But that combo is ridiculous. For the longest time, everybody's been talking about you've got to run lower air pressure. I don't like the feel of the roll over the rim and all that. And there's nothing like that uh, whatsoever with the Kush core. So very big positive there. The Merino Caballo frame, how slacked out it is. The ground clearance, those Savage Rock Gardens. Guys, those are some big rocks. Not once that I have a pedal strike or anything out there. This thing is my size. Standover's great. I'd like to get the weight of this thing. I think it's probably around 33 or 34 pounds, which really, you think about all the components and everything else it has, it's not really bad compared to, like, say, an aluminum build that might be 30 pounds because this thing freaking just fires down the mountain, you know, and it wants more. Tires are really good. Um, but just overall, I think... I'm so glad we got to try a steel frame because I think um, I think a lot of people are missing out really if they're into downhill stuff like this and they're trying to go carbon, they're trying to go aluminum, they want to go really light. You know, not saying that that's a bad thing, but sometimes light feels chattery and kind of kind of cheap, right? Or maybe not as well built. Something like this, not one chatter out there whatsoever. So um, I'm so damn excited we finally got this cabal out here and we got the build going patrons got to ride it uh man i can't wait to take this thing out tomorrow and ride it some more but uh wolf tick nation that was another wolf tick videos episode you want to hear the real wheel no you lost the blue on my oh i lost the blue on the rotor i told you it was going to rub off oh yeah we knew it was going to rub off yeah you know on the front one too 203s those things are great it looks out there good. yeah but uh wolf tick nation that was another wolf tick videos episode Appreciate you guys watching as always. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, show your boys some love. You want to see some parts that we had uh, built on this bike, make sure you guys go down to the phone links and check those out as well. Kabbalah, the steel is real, and rust we trust. Handmade and Prue, awesome freaking frame. Can't wait to ride it. We'll see you guys on the next episode.